Understanding Aid Eligibility, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore the meaning of the phrases aid and eligibility, especially when they are used together as aid eligibility. Understanding this concept is important not just in everyday conversation, but also in various professional and academic contexts. Let's dive in. Aid generally refers to help or assistance. This help can be in various forms, such as financial aid, medical aid, or technical assistance. It's important to understand that aid is usually provided to address a need or a deficiency. For example, financial aid is often provided to students who need monetary support to continue their education. Now, let's talk about eligibility. This term is all about meeting certain conditions or criteria. When someone is eligible, it means they have the right qualifications or they meet the necessary requirements to receive something, like a service, a benefit, or an opportunity. It's a term often used in contexts like job applications, contests, or application for services. When we combine these two terms into aid eligibility, we are talking about the qualifications or conditions required to receive aid. This is a common phrase in sectors like education, healthcare, and social services. For instance, a student's aid eligibility for a scholarship depends on factors like their academic performance, financial need, or community involvement. Let's see some real-life examples to understand better. 1. Educational Aid Eligibility a university might state that students must demonstrate financial need to be aid eligible for scholarships. 2. Healthcare aid eligibility. A healthcare program might say patients with income below a certain level are eligible for aid. Understanding the phrase aid eligibility is key in many aspects of life, especially when seeking assistance in various forms. Remember, it's all about the help available and whether you meet the criteria to receive it. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in your journey of English language learning. Keep practicing, and see you next time!